chatbots is a big topic yeah. now. Um, could you talk about your experience with uh, delivering and executing it? You know what, what I think, and from what my friends actually are saying, quite a successful chatbot at Wimbledon, and just the the technology in general and where you see it going. Yeah, I mean the, the philosophy around the the chatbot was we um, was twofold. We we had a chatbot from 2017, uh, which was called um, Ask Fred. Um, after Fred Perry, um, because the, there's a statue on site of Fred Perry, and um, it's kind of location to go and meet. And the idea behind that chapel was, if you're coming to Wimbledon within the app, you could ask questions around your day. So it's kind of an on-site concierge. Um, and obviously, we're conscious that not everybody gets the opportunity to come to Wimbledon, and you might still want to have an interaction and, and ask questions. So the as always thinking about how can you extend the the on-site physical experience into a, a purely off-site and digital one um, the other driver behind it was increasingly um, whilst there are social media platforms like Facebook for old people like me or um, Instagram or Snapchat or whatever there's also a huge amount of messaging that goes on so you know I follow my 13 year old on Instagram mm. Um, I know she's constantly on it because I can see she's constantly on it, but she doesn't post anything. She just uses it as a messaging platform. Mm-hmm. WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, various other messaging. So um, as a social media um, digital marketing team, you know, we can't see that conversation. We know it's going on, but there's a huge amount of conversation going on. So the, the, the challenge we were trying to answer was how can we put content into a messaging platform that will be still Wimbledon quality and provide an opportunity to interject into some of those conversations that might be going on around Wimbledon, but also drive people then to interact with the Wimbledon digital platforms. And that's where the Facebook Messenger chatbot came in. So it was designed to be very simple in first interaction. So you know, what are the things that people are interested in about Wimbledon? Predominantly it's what's the score? Um, what's going on now? and I'm interested in particular players. So those are the three options you got right from the outset when you, when you engage with Wimbledon. And then you had the opportunity to subscribe to content so you could follow particular players. You then get pushed particular, you get pushed content. Um, and you, you also had an opportunity to um, do, do ask questions, which was then backed off into the on-site chatbot. So it was a combination of a messenger solution um, and, and the functionality of the messenger backed off into a chatbot to provide a more cohesive and integrated experience. So there was, we, we thought as it, of it as, as we always do with a, how can I access an audience where they want to engage with Wimbledon? What are the particular use cases for that audience in that location? And then how do we use the AI capabilities we've got and the data we've got to, to surface that? Makes sense. And it, are you going to carry it through to you know, the years to come? Yeah, so it's it's a it's a learning system. It's AI. So um, you know, Watson will be churning through all of the questions that it's been asked to enhance how it responds and to help us also understand around. You know, it, were lots of people asking for X, Y, and Z, and that wasn't available as a function or wasn't available as an answer. Okay, so so what do we do about that? So we use the questions as dis, you know, direct consumer feedback into the next design loop as we're looking to enhance it for the next year. That actually makes sense also with the. Uh, work in retail that I've done for Wimbledon because I remember um, quite, I mean, relatively, I think several, several years ago Wimbledon introduced the uh, electric fans because um, a lot of the times customers would ask for the fans and then we didn't have fans in that year. We sold out very, very, very quickly in the first two days or so. So then for the next championships, I was like, oh, there's a lot of fans and then now we have enough for the whole championship. So it's basically... It happens, Wimbledon happens once a year and you're taking the intel and now with AI based capabilities it's it's really much more thorough and much more contextualized and then you're carrying it through to the next year and then this is this is kind of is this a fair summary of the of the process from a technology point of view yeah I mean we're always you know, there were customer surveys there is you know the feedback we get through the app and the websites um, and then there's the you know, monitoring of the industry, both sports industry and other industries. So you know, we'll look at on the chatbot, for example, you know, we've done chatbots with Vodafone, we've done chatbots with banks. You know, we'll look at how those are working and how those are operating and how they're designed as part of the process for how we're designing ours for, within a sporting context. Because there's no reason why Wimbledon can't learn from a bank. 